Hi everyone, welcome to Plar Academy. I really hope this video helps you out. If it does, I'd super appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, share it with your friends and leave a positive comment. Your support really keeps me motivated to create more great videos for you. What we'll cover. I've broken down the content in Unit 2, Waves and Electricity, just like you see here. And I've made sure to cover every topic exactly according to the Physics International A-Level Edexcel syllabus, which you can see right here. In this video, we're diving into Topic 4, Electricity, specifically focusing on resistance. Let's get started! Resistance is the ratio of potential difference V across a component to current I in a component. We can write the formula of the resistance as R equals V divided by I, where R is the resistance in ohm, V is the PD, or voltage across the component in volts, and I is the current in ampere. 1 ohm is equivalent to 1 volt per ampere. Four factors affect the resistance of a metallic conductor wire. 1. Temperature. As temperature increases, the resistance of a metallic conductor increases. This is because the atoms in a conductor gain the kinetic energy and vibrate more, which reduces the rate of flow of charges. This causes the current to decrease, the resistance increases. 2. Type of material. Different materials have different resistance. This is because the number of charge carriers per unit volume N is different for different materials. Greatest N, lowest resistance. 3. Length of a conductor wire. Resistance, R, of a wire is directly proportional to its length of L. The longer a wire, the greater its resistance and vice versa. This is because electrons collide with more ion atoms and decreasing the rate of flow of charges and so there will be more resistance. 4. Cross-section area of a conductor wire. Resistance, R, of a wire is inversely proportional to cross-sectional area, A. The thicker a wire, the smaller its resistance and vice versa. This is because there is more space for electrons, and so more electrons can flow. The cross-section area A of a wire is a circular, which is pi radius r squared, or pi diameter d squared over 4. So, the resistance will inversely proportional to radius r squared and also inversely proportional to diameter d squared. Therefore, we can deduce that the resistance is directly proportional to length L and inversely proportional to the cross-section area A. We can write the equation of the resistance as R equals rho L over A, where rho is the resistivity of each material in O meter, L is the length in meters, and A is the cross-section area in square meters. The resistivity rho is a material-specific property, meaning that all samples of the same material have the same resistivity. The effect of temperature with the resistance of the metal and semiconductor. Charge is carried through metals and semiconductor by free electrons in a lattice of positive ions. The number of charge carriers in the metal is more than in the semiconductor, indicating that the semiconductors have a higher resistivity than metals. When a metal is heated up, causing its resistance to increase, the lattice of ions to gain more the energy and vibration, more when heated. This causes the electrons to collide with the lattice of ions more frequently, transferring some of their kinetic energy into other forms. This leads to the mean drift velocity, V, of free electrons to decrease. As the current I equal NQVA, where the current I is proportional to drift velocity, V, where NQ and A remain constant, this means the current in the metal decreases so its resistance increases. When a semiconductor is heated up, causing its resistance to decrease, this is because this causes the lattice of ions to gain more the energy and vibration more. This causes the electrons to collide with the lattice of ions more frequently transferring some of their kinetic energy into other forms. This leads to the mean drift velocity, V, of free electrons to decrease. However, if energy is supplied to some of semiconductor, causing more charge carriers are released, increasing the number of charge carriers per unit volume, N, this have more effect than the decrease in the current. As the current I equal NQVA, where the current I is proportional to the product of drift velocity, V, and charge carriers per unit volume, N, 
where Q and A remain constant. This means the current in the metal increases so its resistance decreases. IV characteristic graph of a metallic conductor at constant temperature. The graph of current I in amperes against voltage V in volts is shown. The graph of voltage V in volts against current I in amperes is shown. Both graphs are the straight line and passing through the origin. These show that the current is directly proportional to the voltage across a conductor. The gradient of graph is constant, so the resistance of the conductor remains constant as temperature also constant. When a battery reversed, causing the current to flow in opposite direction. On the both graphs, these sections shown the battery to reverse. In this graph, its gradient equals current divided by voltage, which is 1 over the resistance. In this graph, its gradient equals voltage divided by current, which is the resistance. IV characteristic graph of a filament lamp. The graph of current I in amperes against voltage V in volts is shown. The graph of voltage V in volts against current I in amperes is shown. The graph is not a straight line, indicating that the resistance of the bulb changes. In these sections of both graphs, the battery is reversed, causing the current to flow in opposite direction. The gradient of both graphs are changed. This shows that the rate of increasing voltage is greater than the rate of increasing current, causing the ratio of V over I increases. The ratio of V over I equals R. This means that the resistance of filament lamp to increase. This is because at higher current and voltage to create the more heating effect and increasing the temperature of filament lamp, causing the resistance of filament to increase. IV characteristic graph of a diode. A diode is a component that allows current to flow in only one direction. This is the symbol for a diode, and it allows the current to flow in this direction. In this circuit, the diode allows the current to flow through the circuit, resulting in a reading on the ammeter. In this circuit, a cell is reversed, so the diode does not allow current to flow, resulting in no reading on the ammeter. The graph of current I in amperes against voltage V in volts of the diode is shown. In this side shows that the diode allow the current to flow through the circuit, resulting in high current and the resistance of diode is very low. In this side shows that the diode does not allow the current to flow through the circuit, resulting in zero current and the resistance of diode is very high. So, we can conclude that. The semiconductor diode is another example of a non-ohmic conductor. A diode is any component that allows electric current in only one direction. This strangely shaped graph shows that diodes have a high resistance when the current is in one direction and a low resistance when it is in the opposite direction. This shows that the diode only allows the current to flow in one way. A thermistor is a resistor with a resistance that depends on its temperature. You only need to know about NTC thermistors. NTC stands for negative temperature coefficient. This means that the resistance decreases as the temperature goes up. This is a real thermistor. This is a symbol of thermistors. A thermistor is a semiconductor. When the thermistor is warmed, it gives more electrons enough energy to escape from their atoms. This means that there are more charge carriers available so the current increases and the resistance decreases. The graph shows the thermistor's resistance plotted against temperature. A graph showing a thermistor's decreasing resistance with increasing temperature. A light-dependent resistor, or LDR, is also a semiconductor used to detect light intensity. As the light intensity increases, the LDR's resistance decreases. This is a real LDR. This is a symbol of LDR. A LDR is made of a semiconductor. When the light shines on a LDR, this provides the energy that releases more electrons. This means more charge carriers, which means a higher current and a lower resistance. The graph shows the LDR's resistance plotted against light intensity. 
a graph showing an LDR's decreasing resistance with increasing light intensity. IV characteristic graph of a thermistor. As the voltage increases, the current increases. More current leads to an increase in temperature and so a decrease in resistance. This in turn means more current can flow, so the graph curves upwards. The gradient of the graph is changed. This shows that the rate of increasing current is greater than the rate of increasing voltage, causing the ratio of V over I decreases. The ratio of V over I is R. This means that the resistance of thermistor to decrease. Exam style question 1. A student carried out an experiment to determine the resistivity of a metal in the form of a wire. She made the following measurements. Length of wire equals 0.2 meters. Resistivity of wire equals 50 milliohms. Diameter of wire equals 0.36 millimeters. Determine the metal of the wire using information from the table below. From the equation R equals rho L over A. We rearrange the equation as rho equals R A over L. We calculate the cross-section area A using pi D squared over 4. Substituting diameter D as 0.36 times 10 power negative 3 meters, we get A as 1.0175 times 10 power negative 7 meter squared. Substituting R as 50 times 10 power negative 3 ohms, a as 1.0175 times 10 power negative 7 meter squared and L as 0.2 meters. We get the resistivity as 2.5 times 10 power negative 8 ohms meter for two significant figures. This resistivity is close to 2.7 times 10 power negative 8 ohms meters. So this wire is made of aluminium. You will get three marks from use the equation A equals pi D squared over 4. Use the equation R equals rho L over A. Correct the resistivity as 2.5 times 10 power negative 8 ohms meters, and so aluminium. Exam style question 2. The graphs show how current I varies with potential difference V for a filament bulb and for a negative temperature coefficient thermistor. Explain the shape of each graph. Your answer should include reference to the movement of conduction electrons in each component. For a filament lamp, its resistance increases, as PD across it increases. This is because the graph shows that the rate of increase in voltage is greater than the rate of increase in current, causing the ratio of V over I to increase. The ratio of V over I is defined as the resistance. As the voltage or current increases, the temperature of the filament lamp also increases. This causes the atoms to vibrate more, leading to more frequent collisions with the free electrons. This leads to the drift velocity to decrease, causing the current also to decrease due to the equation I equals NQVA. For a thermistor, its resistance decreases as a PD across it increases. This is because the graph shows that the rate of increase in voltage is smaller than the rate of increase in current. As the voltage or current increases, the temperature of the thermistor also increases. This provides thermal energy to release more electrons. This leads to more charge carriers per unit volume, which means a higher current and a lower resistance due to the equation I equals NQVA. This question assesses a student's ability to show a coherent and logically structured answer with linkages and full sustained reasoning. Student will get six marks from For a filament lamp, resistance increases. Increased temperature leads to increased vibration of atoms. Increased rate of collision between electrons and atoms. For a thermistor, resistance decreases as PD increases. Increased temperature leads to increased number of electrons. According to the equation I equal NAQV, so current increases. I really hope this video helps you out. If it does, I'd super appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, share it with your friends and leave a positive comment. Your support really keeps me motivated to create more great videos for you.